All right, guys, so I wanted to um, do a brief update on how I'm running gun double zip. It's changed slightly. Um, so I actually am now, instead of putting my slot apprentice um, on the right side of the field, he's now in the slot, technically. Um, and there's a few different setups I, I've been using that I think are a little bit better um, than what we were using before. It allows the offense to be a little bit more diverse and a little bit tougher to defend. I'm going to just go through the plays that I'm using. Um, obviously, Flood Drive is one of our main plays. Uh, I run this mainly against zone coverage um, or like backed off man coverage. And this is, again, this is like one of the, this is a freestyle offense. So essentially what that means is I kind of just read and react to what my opponent's doing. I have some really good routes in the field that I can utilize to attack different areas of the field as I see fit. Um, but one of the route combos I'm using is putting the slot up right in the corner, streak the guy next to him and drag the tight end. Um, this is very good against zone coverage, multiple levels that they have to defend. They still have to defend the halfback on the table route. Uh, and then you also have the corner route on the left and the post over the middle. Uh, like we talked about in another video, that Y route is going to be the route that pushes the uh, free safety back so you can fit this post in. So he has to respect that and it gives you plenty of space, right? Uh, another route combo I'm using is, uh, again, putting the slot apprentice in the corner and motioning it over. And then I'll do something like this, right? So uh, you will have the street corner flat on this side of the field with a post. And then this backside in route is actually not too bad because it clears out. Um, it because, not, not clears out because you have four receivers on this side of the field. Most of the zones are going to be on the right, typically. Um, and then you have not too many zones over here on the left. So as he runs across there, you, you kind of have this. That's a really bad throw by me. You have that like late breaking in route. I'm not going to show you guys how to throw corner routes, but obviously that's still still an option um so that's pretty much it for that play i don't really do a whole lot different like we talked about in the other video if i see kind of soft zone coverage i'll just quick snap this and then throw that in right away um as it gets right underneath the zone pretty quick so uh, let's take a look at um let's take a look at the pa play real quick the pa goes slot cross so i've been running this kind of like um, kind of like how you would read an RPO almost, except there's obviously no way to hand the ball off. Um, but you would kind of like throw it as it gets open. Maybe not RPO, maybe RPO is, is a bad term for it, but basically what I do is I cut off the play action as soon as I see something pop open. So like, for example, if this middle linebacker were to bite hard on the play action, I could quickly snap throw this Y route, which he didn't. Actually, he's still throwing interception. <laughs> um, but here, you know, let's go into a different defense. Um, it's mainly, and this mainly came about because a lot of people mug the gap to blitz. Right? So, um, let's see if I can just find a stock defense with that to plug my other controller in. Maybe not. This is a bad example here. Uh, maybe we'll fire three seam. <clears throat> And it's probably going to blitz off the other side, but it's all good. Like that, right? That's really kind of what I'm looking for. Um, now, I just want to quickly note that if they have a tall safety as their like user linebacker in the middle, if they quickly click on, or if they quickly press Y, they can nick this. So you may want to actually high point. And even then, there's still an opportunity for them to get it. So it's not like, um, this isn't something you can abuse over and over again, right? This is a uh, kind of very specific way I use it in specific scenarios. So it's not an every time thing, right? And then of course you have the drag on the backside too, right? So I can just snap out that drag. <clears throat> Another combination I've been using specifically with this play is corner drag. So then they have to defend like multiple levels over the middle of the field and say this happens to be main coverage or say they're blitzing out of like a cover two zone uh, with 
like hard flats that you can hit this corner around. So, of course, you got the tight end underneath, you got the you know, crossing route. Um, so, it's not not anything super crazy, but I just wanted to give you guys another additional setup. Um, the only other couple tips that I've been that I kind of wanted to give you guys was um, the bench halfback angle. This play, um, you would think that C route is really good against main coverage, but it's super inconsistent. Um, so I'll show you what I got need right here. Let's just call it cover zero. All right, and I'm gonna get this Y route out of the way. Block the halfback. Actually, no, we can't block the halfback because the safety's on that. So we're gonna block the tight end. And you see, how he just did not get the separation that we think. Like, look at look at Jerry, right? As soon as he cuts, like you would think he'd get more separation, but he doesn't, so it's a really risky throw. And like even against press man coverage, which is actually it's gonna be hard to kind of mimic that without plugging in a second controller, but we'll try. Uh, let's just go let's go to and for the purposes of this video, I'm going to motion it out so he gets the press. <clears throat> like, you would think this would be really good, but I've seen it be really inconsistent. Like, look, he just kind of shadows him the whole time. So, it's better against zone, but we already have a corner out on this side of the field with this play. Of course, you know, this play gives us the halfback angle route, which really should be the focus of your, your reads on this, you use this when you see, you know, if you have an aggressive user over the middle of the field, he's guarding the vertical routes, and you can kind of just slip this in, or if he's aggressively running to the flat, sometimes you can trick them, uh, thinking, have them thinking that's like a table route, and it ends up being, you know, angle route, or if they're just not guarding the halfback at all, and they're letting the user, or excuse me, the CPU, guard him more like a man coverage assignment, then that's pretty good. But, um, for all intents and purposes, the C route is much better against his own coverage. Um, so don't get caught trying to slam that ball in there uh, against man. Um, and then the other tip I wanted to give was the switch wire wide receiver drag. Um, and this, I'm probably going to have to plug in a second controller. I'll do that real quick. Um, but the switch wide receiver drag is a one play touchdown against cover two. Now, if they're not base aligned, and this is the reason I sat to plug in a second controller, um, this post route is not going to get open. However, if they are not base aligned, then the wheel, the wheel route gets wide open because the non base line on the cover two, on the Tampa two, causes a chuck on the outside receivers. So you'll see right here. And actually, that looks perfect though. Holy cow. <laughs> I must have had. I might have had. I think I have baseline on, <laughs> actually, which is funny. Uh, but the whole point of this is that this post, you can sneak that over the top, right? Unless they have like a deep blue with like a really good zone coverage, really fast zone coverage player. And actually, I typically do this with Tyreek, I think. Oh, you know what? Sometimes I'll, I'll substitute Tyreek in for that specific play if I see that, but really just, just take a look at the replay and see why this works so you can kind of apply it to whatever you use and maybe just utilize it better than I can. So the corner route will pull this safety wide. See how wide he gets? There's a big gap in space over here, right? So Calvin is actually not the fastest, but like a, a really fast receiver like Tyreek you kind of let this ball go earlier, like as soon as they're even, you can kind of let this go with a free form. I would say free form, just kind of like almost straight up, or you know, maybe slightly to the left. Uh, and it's just a one play touchdown most of the time against Tampa 2, unless you're making, you know, very specific adjustments. So. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We have found some uses for. Yeah, you know, there's one, one other thing that I did want to touch on. I apologize. Um, this play levels, I've actually found a use for it. Now, I didn't like it at first. I thought it was kind of stupid. Um, but what if they're running cover zero, like non-pressed man, 
you can like I, I like this route combo personally. But you see the Y route? Like that's actually a bad example because the safety is guarding him. Let's try to find a um, cover zero. We'll go nickel normal. Right, we'll go nickel normal where the corner is lined up over top of him. We'll go over storm brief, right? Watch how much separation he gets. You see that? Like it kind of I don't know how we, I guess under pressure or whatever. But the point is that when that cut, when they're lined up kind of close to him like that, like it really throws him off. You see he almost he almost falls down. But it's really specific to non-pressed man coverage and a lot of people have been running on like three three blitz that W runs. And so that's pretty effective against that. <clears throat> now it's also pretty good in the red zone. Oh, one other thing real quick. If it's cover zero, the tight end will bend this route into a post route. So you see how he... Oh, you know what? <laughs> he treated it as a cover... He, he treated it as a one high safety. Because the safety snapped zone coverage because I blocked my half back. Right, so in this scenario, he shouldn't cut across the field. So it's just it's something to note. Don't get caught trying to throw a one route when he's actually going to run a different route. If the safety drops into his own, then he'll run the fade. <clears throat> but um, the point I wanted to get to, actually, was that this is pretty good in the red zone. Um, against zone coverage. So you kind of get the same thing. Uh, so we go ahead and call like a cover three. So if I slant, or even if I drag, as this guy breaks, kind of pass it down, and it kind of fits in, in this nifty little spot. Now, is it, like, the safest throw? Of course not, but, you know, area... The area is already... <coughs> excuse me, the area to throw the ball is already small because you're in the red zone, so... Kind of pass lead that down with, like, a free form, and, you know, you have an opportunity to make a play on that ball. Um, it's a nifty little, nifty little route, so... That's pretty much it for the gun doubles hip update. Um, I'm sure there'll be more coming at some point. Um, really haven't touched a lot on match coverage, uh, but I haven't really seen a ton of match coverage being run yet. Um, so I'm sure at some point I'll update with kind of like some match coverage bombs or some tips for beating match. Uh, but that's pretty much it.